Hey guys, welcome back to Vinceville Customs. So today I'm sharing with you a premium format storm statue that I just finished up. Now I did a three part series of back uh, a few weeks ago on painting up her skin tone. So here you can see the final project is all done. Uh, really happy with it, had a lot of fun. It's a nice change of pace to do something like storm. And uh, you know, I just came up with the idea of doing it. Now I'm not really a fan of storm. Uh, I do like uh, her from the Extreme X-Men series uh, a while back that was done. I liked her outfit then with the uh, bolt on it. I was going to do that version, but uh, I'm also a Street Fighter fan with Capcom, and I know Capcom had her in the game, and I kind of like that version too with the gold and the bluish black, so I figured this would be kind of cool because more people might relate to this version a little bit more than Extreme X-Men, because Extreme X-Men was done like, you know, years back, I think in the 90s, so kind of wanted to go with a little bit more of a modern look that a lot of people, or at least new people to the hobby might know. So this is what I came up with. So um, kind of run down all the stuff I did to her. Um, she was actually, you know, it's a Lady Death body. And it is a Black Cat uh, premium format from a Sideshow head. So as you can see, the head is different from the Lady Death. It's the Lady Death body. Uh, the two hands are actually a Spider Woman premium format hands. I've had a couple of them where I've changed up hands and stuff. So, uh, I'm sitting on, you know, a damaged body, so I'm sitting on, uh, extra hands, so I added those hands to this statue, and I took off the Lady Death hands, and then, uh, basically, uh, I also had an, uh, X-Base from, I think, either, uh, Psylocke or a Rogue from when those came out and all those defects, so all these parts were sitting there, and I really didn't know who to make, and I wanted to make an X-Men female, you know, I've done a lot of Phoenixes, I've done a lot of Rogues, Psylocke's, and all these other ones, and there's not really many Storm Customs out there. No one's really ever asked me to do a Storm Custom. So I figured, let's go out my own route and kind of come up with the idea of doing Storm. So, this is what I came up with. Uh, I had a lot of fun uh, painting it up. A little different techniques. I also had the Seamstress help me uh, make the uh, cloak on her. And I'll kind of go over how I did all that. But uh, basically, when I broke off the Lady Death Head, I had to come up with, um, you know the new head and I had to rebuild the neck muscles and everything so I figured you know store would have some you know nice uh, bone structure on there and I kind of did some work and I looked you know how to fix it all up when I added the head on I had to actually rebuild the hair around in here and over there I had to drill out some of the hair back there and then I added this uh her headgear piece now this is a little metal loop I attached but this right here and this right here is actually from like a regular fork utensil so what I did is I, I bent the four pieces off and I cut them and I attached them on there and I put them in deep. So it's not just like, you know, a simple little piece of plastic that could break off. Like this is actual real metal that I had to actually bend. It was a real, um, I mean, that fork was crazy to bend. So I kind of, it worked out though. So it's nice and strong. It's not going to go anywhere. Um, as for her paint up of her face, you know, I gave her the white eyes. So I figure Storm has the white eyes and I gave her some eyeshadow and everything. Uh, for her lipstick, I didn't want to go bright red, and I didn't like the idea of doing a white or gray or a blue. I tried messing with that. It didn't really feel right to me. So what I gave her is like a, almost like a darker natural red lipstick that wouldn't really like overpower her. So I figured that would look a little bit better, you know, kind of just had some fun with that. So that's what I did with that. Her hair is basically painted up in a white with some uh, pearl, uh, pearls in there, some uh, interference blue purples. Just to give it a little bit more life than just throwing like white hair with gray and then that's it. I kind of wanted to have it a little bit silky and that's what I ran with that. So, And then, uh, you know, for her outfit, I sculpted on her outfit. Uh, Lady Death was a bikini. So what I did is uh, for the bikini stuff, I added this on. I dremeled it and sanded it all down. I kept the bikini line here. But I, what I did is I added on wrinkles to the outfit and everything, and then I attached this gem at the end because I figured if I was going to sculpt the gem, it would look okay with paint, but I think like a nice Michaels gem, you know, the regular hobby store, it works out pretty good. So that's what I did with that. And then uh, as you can see with the boots, it's the same thing. Lady Death had the boots, like they were really wrinkly, so I kind of sanded them down a little bit just to kind of get some uh, smoothness to it. But around the bends and at the bottom, I left that there. So that worked out pretty cool. Now for her X base, um, I didn't want to go red because I think red would actually fight with her a little bit. So I kind of wanted to go with something a little bit darker, like a marbleish look, and focus on the white whirlwind because it's kind of like her pose is like she's ready to start kicking up the air pose. She's not really like has her hands out. She's just kind of like an elegant pose, 
and she has her hand up where she's ready to go start flying or use her powers. So that's kind of what I came up with. You know, just had some fun with it and everything. So now the design issue I had was actually doing the cape. Now the cape is kind of a an issue. Uh, and I was looking at Marvel vs. Capcom artwork and looking in the game and seeing what they were doing. And I was trying to mimic it, but there were certain things I could do and certain things I couldn't do. So what I did was I sculpted on the bracelet. And then what I did is I attached a little uh, loop here. And then over on these pieces, when I sculpted these, I attached little loops on those as well. So when I gave the... A statue to the seamstress she was kind enough to actually work on the statue before it was all painted up because I told her you know if it breaks or you nick it I can fix it it's not painted you don't have to worry about it so what we did was uh, I told her if she can give me some loops on the edges of these pieces because I couldn't really just give her a pattern through illustrator she actually had to you know have this and then what I did was I bent the loops and I attached it there and then I just put them on and that was it so it's kind of, you know, there's no metal wire on here or anything because it really wouldn't do much anyway. I just wanted to kind of flop down and it just worked out pretty good. So, and then uh, you can kind of see, we'll give you a nice booty shot for you guys. So the, the lady that stacked you really works out great for it. I had a lot of fun. Uh, the biggest design problem was these uh, pieces here. Now, of course, they're probably cloth, you know, supposed to be cloth, but, you know, I really couldn't have the seamstress do cloth because it would probably just... You know, if you put it there, it would probably just fall here and it wouldn't look right. So what I did was I sculpted this piece here and I had a piece of, it's all a piece of metal that's bendable. And then I bent it with a little piece going in there and I glued that in. And then at the end after I painted it, I uh, seamed this up with the uh, A's and I also drilled in here and I seamed that up there to attach it. And the same thing over here. So it worked out pretty good. So now it's uh, stable. Uh, it looks like Storm. Uh, she's really shiny. I wanted to give it that like latexy look. I thought that would be kind of cool to make it pop a little bit more. Uh, it's all painted in Garage Kit uh, colors, flesh tones. They're paints. They have like if you see them in the paint up video, you can see what paints I use. For her blue, it's kind of like a pearlized blue with a lot of black shading, and then a nice car paint from Dupli Color, gloss coating it over. That stuff is potent as all hell. But I like that gloss a lot better now, and I'm starting to use it a lot. But you got to mask it. You can't leave it in the house. And But once it's done, it's like car paint. You could actually, like, buff this with, like, you know, wax if you really wanted to, which is kind of cool. But I wouldn't, but you could. So, that's uh, pretty much the Storm statue. Uh, had a lot of fun doing it. Uh, really wanted to give her, you know, some uh, sexy look to her, but without, you know, overdoing it. It was fun to paint her skin. And just... You know, just a storm statue, just to, to get it out there. And Sideshow did one storm statue. Bowen uh, did a couple versions of storm. Uh, I think some other companies did some other uh, storm busts or statues, but there really isn't like a lot of them. So I kind of had fun with just coming up with this one. You know, try to give a little bit more of a, you know, that look from uh, Marvel vs. Capcom. So uh, there you go. That is my storm custom premium format statue. Hopefully, you guys like the way it came out. Had a lot of fun. So thanks for watching and we'll be back with more videos.